Hey, what's up everyone? This is the Minister of Beauty and thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to have a quick little conversation today. And as we all know who have not been under a rock, this coronavirus slash COVID-19 monstrosity that it has become, this pandemic, is a real thing. But I really feel that People are taking this overboard. Now, I went to Target. I went to a BJ's Wholesale Club. And none of them had any toilet paper. I don't know what toilet paper is going to do to keep people from getting the coronavirus. Of course, I know some people may be in quarantine and they may have to, you know, be in one place for a period of time. And so you may be panicking about, oh, I'm not going to be able to get out and get toilet paper and whatever. But of all of the things, there is no toilet paper. And I could not understand that for the life of me. So I went to a family dollar store. They had some toilet paper there, albeit it wasn't any name brand stuff. And it was um, like a four pack of um, toilet paper for a dollar. I don't even know if it's biodegradable. <laughs> so um, it's really real out here. And I have to get toilet paper for my business location. So that's like one of the things that I'm doing on a you know normal basis anyway. But I guess I'll be going online and ordering from some of the places that I order office supplies from. I just try not to do that too often. But I hope you all are being safe. I hope you all are washing your hands and sanitizing and not shaking hands and not even doing the fist bump and you know these are my wet ones I've got hand sanitizer also and these are just things that I normally always have so this isn't because of the coronavirus I just I just normally have these things anyway when I travel I've got my travel size Clorox wipes and my Lysol spray and my gloves and sometimes people are looking at me like I'm crazy because when I get on the plane, I am sanitizing the hard surfaces of the seats that I am seated in, in the area where I'm located. And when I go to the airports and go to the restroom, I'm washing my hands and I see people walking out of the stalls and straight out of the doors. They are not washing their hands. And sometimes if they do go to the sink, they just turn the water on, run their hands under the water and walk out. You're just getting your hands wet that's not cleaning your hands whatsoever so speaking of not cleaning your hands you may or may not have heard but Adrian Bailon Breed I guess her um, I, I don't know what what is Israel Israel Holton so <laughs> he's got that group Israel Holton and new breed oh my god so Israel Holton's wife Adrian Bailon Holton who is a host on the real talk show that I do not watch is nasty she admitted so this is not allegedly she admitted that she does not wash her hands when she goes to the bathroom at home so if someone is going to admit that they don't wash their hands when they are at home after they go to the bathroom they're normally not washing their hands when they are outside of their home because what you do at home you will probably do anywhere else I know sometimes people might say, you know, oh, well, I'm just a little bit more comfortable when I'm at, when I'm at home, but when I go out, I'm gonna respect other people and other people's places and property. But yeah, that's normally not true. You're gonna do what you do at home other places. So she's not washing her hands. She's nasty. As we know, sometimes men don't wash their hands. That's just something that goes on a lot. I'm not judging, but it's just a real thing. I know because I've seen it. I've worked in offices with men that will walk out of the restroom as they're zipping their pants up and the toilet is flushing. So I'm just saying, I, I see what I see and I've seen what I've seen. So for her to admit that she does not wash her hands when she's at home after she uses the restroom is disgusting. The girl's nasty because when we just get a little graphic because this is, you know, this is real talk. When women are going to the restroom, we have to sit or squat, <laughs> and then we have to wipe ourselves. Now, I hope she is not wiping from the back to the front, 
because that can cause cross contamination, which can cause some, you know, nasty infections and, you know, all sorts of things. So the fact that she's not washing her hands after she goes to the restroom and she admitted that, that's, first of all, it's just too much information and it's just nasty. I don't know what you guys feel about it, but you let me know in the comment section. But my opinion is she's nasty. She's nasty because she doesn't wash her hands and she's even nastier because she has admitted that for anyone who has watched the show to know. And that is too much information. But good for the people on the real talk show so that they can get the people in there with the hazmat suits and you know have the the cleaning crew that they normally use come in and do some extra um, contamination uh, measures to clean the areas because it's just utterly disgusting that she would admit that she does not wash her hands it's completely insane that a woman that has access to so much will not access the soap and pump and put her hands underneath it and scrub and scrub under her nails and all around her hands and her wrists and put it under the water and rinse that's just crazy so I was shocked when I heard that she admitted that but these days nothing really surprises me much anymore when it comes to people and the actions that they take but I just want you all to be safe this coronavirus pandemic it is a real thing but we also have to remember that although we want to take measures to be safe and um, you know not contaminate ourselves and you know take some extra measures so that we are not going to get sick and, and use wisdom you cannot be panicked because one of the things I've also learned in life is that the things that you fear most normally can more easily come upon you so also remember the weight of your words and how important it is to speak life don't say that you're going to get sick if you're one of these people who are you know you're sort of a hypochondriac and you feel like you know you're more susceptible to getting sick um, you know easily don't say that don't say that you're going to get sick don't say that you're going to get contaminated just speak life in the midst of everything that's going on Continue to speak life, continue to have faith, continue to trust and believe that God is a healer and that he can protect you, but also use wisdom and use measures to protect yourself and remember the weight you know, of your words and don't speak anything negative over yourself, over your existence, over your surroundings, over the people that you love, and even in jest, because I know sometimes we joke and we you know, try to keep things lighthearted for the sake of having a sense of humor just to keep our spirits lifted but sometimes we can joke about things too much to the point where it is you know not it's not conducive to speaking life we can have fun we can joke and I've watched a few um, you know videos of people that are making light of it and I don't want to say making light of it but they're just using the situation and what's going on right now to be lighthearted and to make other people laugh and that's all well and good but still take it seriously um, you know I have some assistants who are not in this country and you know as a matter of fact the areas that they're in um, they're experiencing um, you know quarantines even though they're not sick and it's just like mandatory shutdowns of some things to keep people safe and to prevent the spread of this very real disease so I'm in the United States I'm hopeful that things will start to calm down but we don't know when it, it will at some point but we just don't know when so just keep it safe and um, you know just keep looking out for updates and doing what you need to do to keep your home and your if you have a business your business and your family and your loved ones safe and of course yourself because you can't save anyone else if you're not looking out for yourself so that's one of the things that I'm definitely doing so my hands are like raw <laughs> because I've been working with clients all week and I've just been scrubbing and cleaning my hands even more so than I normally would and um, you know just taking it up to the next level just to ensure that people know that they can 
know that they're coming to a business that we're following sanitation guidelines and we're keeping things clean and sanitary and we're looking out for the best interest of our clients health and ours as well so that we can continue to operate and they can continue to come and see us so anyway I just wanted to talk about that I hope you all are doing well let me know in the comment section if you've had any trouble finding toilet paper or anything else that you're looking for like alcohol like alcohol has been out of stock the things that I normally buy for my business is just like crazy the little things that we take for granted um, tissue to wipe your ass with <laughs> and alcohol pads to you know wipe off tools and you know and do things with the skin and stuff like that with it's just like the little things that we take for granted now it's like it's out out of stock and it's unreal for the places who have them in stock what they're trying to charge for them and also let me know in the comment section what you feel about Adrian Bailon admitting that she does not wash her hands after she goes to the bathroom at home yeah I believe that's everywhere but just my opinion so guys thanks so much for watching this video I am the minister of beauty and I'm here to share the Bible that's business inspiration beauty life and enjoyment so until next time I hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day